So lately I've been using the informed delivery service from the United States Postal Service. It's a great service where they email a picture of your mail every day. So recently I was eagerly anticipating a check in the mail and spotted it in the day's informed delivery mail. So I trekked out the mail to the mailbox a couple times looking for it. And finally it came, but it got me thinking it would be nice if the home automation dashboard showed mail arrival. How do I notify myself on the dashboard that mail arrived? And I thought, well, I could always put a motion sensor out there. But then the problem is the box is metal, so the motion sensor doesn't talk to the the home uh, hub. So then I thought, well, maybe I'll just put the motion sensor under the mailbox. Like there's a little notch for the newsletters and whatnot to be placed under the mailbox. But then I realized I can't do that because how do I know the mailman from any other movement that's happening? So my first attempt at the image extraction was to use FFmpeg, but for whatever reason it just wasn't reliable. It hung without an error, it would just stall. So I did a lot more searching and found people were using VLC to pull snapshots. So I tested that from the GUI and it worked. So then I just wanted to find a way to do it from the command line. And uh, also I set the the time between images to five seconds. So that would capture at least one or two shots of the mailman as he went by and stopped at the box. Once I got the VLC snapshot working, I needed to schedule it. So I knew the mail usually came between 10 and 1 p.m. Monday through Saturday. So I set up a launch CTL program to run during those hours. I'm using a M1 Mac Mini for this project, but if I was using Linux, I would use Systemd for the scheduling. I had previous experience using Darknet by PJ Ready to identify humans in motion sensor detection using my existing cameras. But this time I wanted to identify mail trucks. So I tried to find someone else who had detected mail trucks so I could just use their files but I couldn't find anyone who had done that. But I did find a YouTube video where the creator teaches how to detect koala bears. So basically I followed his video exactly, but just inserted mail trucks where he configured koalas. So the hardest part of the training is installing the label image software, which is a Python program to draw boxes around 300 or so images. The more images you have, the better the training. So I picked around 300 images of uh, mail trucks and I got them from Google image search and then just exported them down to local. But then I had to go through each individual image and draw a box around each mail truck to identify it. And I did that, but what happened was when I ran the process, it was finding really any box truck. It wasn't detecting only mail trucks and I really needed it to detect just mail trucks. I didn't want to detect UPS or FedEx or whatever. So this time I thought, well, let me just do the whole process again, but just circle the mail truck logo, not the whole truck. And when I did that, the detection worked. So now that the mail truck detection worked, I set up a Phoenix program, which is running on, an, on the Elixir language. And basically it takes all those images, runs them through the detection scheme. And when it finds a match, it pushes that photo and the time to my server and the dashboard that I have will now subscribe to that message and then update the dashboard to show not only what time the mail delivery happened, but a picture of the mail truck that was detected in the dashboard. So I've been running this for about the last week and it's really amazing whenever the mail truck is detected and it shows up on the dashboard. I did have to add a couple tweaks to the program where uh, it started and stopped a little bit too 
late or too early, so I customized the schedule. And then I also accidentally was detecting the mail truck going back the other way after he did the rest of the houses on my block. So I had to set it to only detect once per day. But now that I did that, it's working great. Really like it.